never slow up No, I don't take shit I got no love for the fakeness If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this I'll always show up and make a statement I don't ever slow up No, I don't take shit I got no love for the fakeness If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this I'll always show up and make a statement I'm gonna learn the consequence of being in it's WWE 2K22 Universe Mode episode number 49. Welcome to WWE's Thursday night main event. And as we inch closer and closer to the Judgment Day pay-per-view on Saturday night, September the 10th, what lies ahead of us this evening inside this sold-out arena in Washington, D.C.? Coming up in your main event, it's a one-on-one -on -one matchup. The original Bro Riddle, after losing to Austin Theory this past Monday night on Raw, wanted to get right back in the action, made an open challenge to the locker room, and it has been accepted by the colossal Omos. Omos versus Riddle, one-on-one -on -one in your main event tonight. We are set to kick things off with a little bit of singles action. The Prince, Finn Balor. He lost the Intercontinental Championship matchup Several weeks back at Extreme Rules to Pete Dunne. He was victorious over Fabian Eichner a couple of weeks ago on Raw. Can he get back in the winning ways tonight? The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Gray County, Wicklow, Ireland. Weighing in at 190 pounds. Over the last several months, we have seen a different side of the Prince Finn Balor. It all started back in April when he turned his back on Jeff Hardy and seemingly on the WWE Universe. Finn Balor said that Jeff Hardy was in the wrong place at the wrong time on that night, but that situation escalated to a rivalry throughout the summer, which concluded back on June 26th at SummerSlam, where Finn Balor brought out the demon and defeated Jeff Hardy on that night. Finn then went on to extreme rules back on August the 7th, the challenge Pete Dunne for the Intercontinental Championship was an extraordinary matchup at the Extreme Rules pay-per-view. Unfortunately for Finn, he came up short on that night in an incredible contest against Pete Dunne. He bounced back with a little bit of momentum a few weeks ago on Monday Night Raw where he went one-on-one -on -one with NXT's Fabian Eichner. Balor picked up the win on that night, so now for Balor, it's about raking up some more victories yet again and earning possible championship contention yet again for the Prince. Finn Balor, I'm sure, would love to get another crack at Pete Dunne for the Intercontinental Championship, or hell, even better, the WWE Championship. Currently held by All Day Austin Theory. And of course, coming up at the Judgment Day pay-per-view on Saturday night, September the 10th, both those championships will be defended as Austin Theory defends the WWE Championship of the World against the rated R Superstar Edge. And on the other hand, Pete Dunne set to defend the Intercontinental Championship against the Blackheart Tommaso Ciampa. And boy, has that situation escalated in a big way over the last number of weeks. Champa shoving Pete Dunne off the stage this past Monday night on Raw. But nonetheless, we are set for in ring action here tonight. And his opponent from Madrid, Spain, weighing in at 154 pounds. A so this young cruiserweight from Spain representing NXT UK. Now making his way to the main roster, A-Kid is here tonight in his debut, and he's got a big opportunity against the Prince Finn Balor. What a win it would be for A-Kid if in his debut here on the main roster he can take down a former Universal Champion, a former Intercontinental Champion, a former NXT Champion on multiple occasions. More and more talent making their way to the main roster over the last number of months from NXT and NXT UK. Recently we've seen Ilya Dragunov as well from NXT UK here on main event against Sheamus. Tommaso Ciampa coming up from NXT the last number of weeks. A-Kid joining that list and an opportunity ahead of him here tonight on Thursday night's main event. I want to thank you for joining us here this evening as we are on the road to the Judgment Day pay for you, which again is going to be live from Denver, Colorado on Saturday night, September the 10th, right here on the No Nation Gaming YouTube channel. will be a live premiere at 5 p.m. Eastern time on that night. Multiple championship matches already signed. More to come for the Judgment Day pay-per-view. What a night it is going to be. And what is the night it is going to be tonight here on Thursday night's main event? Again, it was this past Monday night on Raw, the original bro Riddle back in action for the first time since Extreme Rules. He came up short against the WWE champion Austin Theory, but Riddle's coming back motivated. He spent several months on the shelf. He wants to get back in the ring. He made that open challenge to the locker room and 
It was accepted by the colossal Omos. Interesting situation, situation, excuse me, between Omos and Bobby Lashley over the last number of weeks, dating back to a few weeks ago on Raw when Bobby Lashley seemingly aided Omos in a victory over AJ Styles. We're going to touch more on that situation later tonight. We see Omos versus RVD inside of the ring, but right now let's get to the action between A Kid and Finn Balor. A Kid looking to take out the spinal cord of the Prince. Dropping him right on the hardest part of the ring. A Kid here to show up and show out here tonight against the Prince Finn Balor. This young cruiserweight making his way from Spain in the NXT UK roster. With this big opportunity over Finn Balor here tonight. What a win it would be for A-Kid if he can defeat Finn Balor. On the other hand, as we mentioned, Finn Balor right now is just focused on raking up some victories. He did so over about several weeks and months' time, which then led him to the Intercontinental Championship matchup against Pete Dunne and Extreme Rules. Of course, again, Finn Balor coming up short on that night, and now it's back to the drawing board for the Prince. He's been taking on some NXT upstarts the last number of weeks, including here tonight. Fabian Eichner a couple of weeks ago on Raw where Finn Balor picked up the victory. And now tonight, A-Kid here on your Thursday night's main event. A-Kid looking good so far in this contest, taking the fight to Finn Balor. Definitely not stepping down to the veteran inside the squared circle here tonight. A-Kid is looking great off that springboard moonsault. Now what's he looking for here? What a kick! Man, knocked Finn Balor's lights out. And could we be seeing an upset here on main event tonight? But Finn Balor gets the shoulder up. Finn Balor living a fight for a few more moments in this contest. A-Kid thought he was getting his hand raised here tonight. Throwing everything he's got at the Prince, but there's Finn Balor. Knocking Kid out of the ring and that Kick moments ago by A Kid. May have been enough to wake Finn Balor up. Realize what is at stake here tonight. He does not want to take the loss to the newcomer to the main roster. As we talk about all the time, wins and losses matter around these parts when it comes to getting championship matches and main event opportunities. More money here in the WWE. And Finn Balor wants all that and more. It's all about getting his hand raised as he sends A Kid over the top rope and crashing on the floor. Finn Balor taking a moment here as A-Kid is dazed and confused. Wait a minute! Two-pick and Hilo over the top rope by the Prince. Laying out A-Kid on the outside. A beautiful dive by the Prince Finn Balor here tonight. A little bit of that high-flying fury from the Prince. And the momentum surely in the driver's seat of Finn Balor right now. Oh, and A-Kid still got life left in on this guy. Not wanting to show up in defeat here tonight. Giving it everything he's got, but there's Finn Balor with the swing blade. Hard to keep this multiple time champion down. Finn Balor's had a decorated career in the WWE, the first ever Universal Champion, multiple time Intercontinental Champion, and NXT Champion. And Finn Balor right now is just focused on getting those victories so he can hopefully add some more championships to his resume in the future. A-Kid is down right now. Finn Balor in this matchup. But every time we seemingly doubt A-Kid, he's right back there to get a hold of Finn. But Finn Balor making sure it doesn't happen on his watch. And a drop kick right to the side of the head by the Prince. Both men looking good in this contest, bringing the fight to each other. Finn Balor not taking A-Kid lightly here tonight. Got to give credit for Finn, Finn Balor for doing so. Now a kid into the cover, or is he going to get this upset victory here? But not just yet. In a matchup to kick us off on Thursday night's main event here tonight. Finn Balor grabbing a hold. Look at this. Backbreaker and slamming a kid down on the canvas blow. And he follows it up with a double stop and a kick. Unloading on this young man is Finn Balor here tonight. Finn grabbing a hold, pulling him back in. Tell if that was a chop or an elbow there, but it was certainly effective, no matter which way you put it. And of course, again, coming up at the Judgment Day pay-per-view, the Intercontinental Championship is going to be on the line between the Bruiserweight Pete Dunne and the Blackheart Tommaso Ciampa. Two guys that Finn Balor's got a lot of history with here on the main roster in WWE as well as in NXT. Again, as we mentioned, that situation reaching a new height this week after the 
the brawls and attacks for the last several weeks between Finn Balor, or excuse me, or Pete Dunne and Tommaso Ciampa. The brawl ensued in the locker room, spilled out onto the stage, and Tommaso Ciampa doing the unthinkable and shoving Pete Dunne off the stage and down to the concrete down below. We don't know the condition of the Intercontinental Champion, but all we know is that his match is still signed for Judgment Day. And the violence that has ensued between those two men the last number of weeks is all going to come to a head when they meet with the gold on the line. On September the 10th, as Finn Balor takes it to the air. Tommaso Ciampa has made his intentions clear without saying a word over the last number of weeks. He has beat down Pete Dunne on numerous occasions. Pete Dunne's got a measure of revenge a couple of times, but Tommaso Ciampa absolutely up in the ante this past Monday night on Raw. Who knows what the condition of Pete Dunne's going to be in come September the 10th on Judgment Day. And the Intercontinental Championship's on the line, but I'm sure Tommaso Ciampa was happy with his work on Raw this past week. Regardless right now, we got to get to the action inside of the ring as Finn Balor may be about to win this matchup via countout. A kid has got his marbles shooken up on the outside. Referees at a count of eight. Are we going to see a count out here? A kid's got to wake up here. Finn Balor wants this victory no matter the means tonight. And A kid making it back into the ring right at the count of nine. But Finn Balor making sure the kid's going to pay. And A kid trying to stay in it. Grabbing a hold. Takes Finn Balor down. A simple but effective maneuver. There's Balor once again springing up with the swing blade and drops the elbow. A kid's down. Wait a minute. Finn Balor's going where he's most comfortable. Coup de gras from the top rope. And that may be all she wrote for the young man here tonight, and it is. Got to give credit where it's due. A kid, the NXT United Kingdom competitor, and his main roster debut tonight, absolutely bringing the fight to that man, Finn Balor. An impressive showing, but in the end, Finn Balor leaving tonight. Wait a minute. A little stare down between these two men. A kid, A kid's extending the hand, and oh wow, shockingly, Finn Balor accepts the handshake. Not something we normally see out of the Prince these days, but I guess A kid showed the Prince something tonight. Balor's impressed, and Balor's leaving with the victory here tonight on main event. Well, ladies and gentlemen, earlier today, Seth freaking Rollins took to Twitter to state this. I see RVD couldn't handle the main event pressure on Raw. So how about this, Mr. Monday Night? How about you find a partner and come to Judgment Day to get your ass kicked once and for all? Rollins alluding to the issues with RVD over the last several weeks. RVD responded earlier today with this, said, Challenge accepted. I have no problem handing Murphy and yourself another loss. I got a partner, and he's coming to Raw this Monday. And after that, we will see you two on September the 10th. Dude, RVD, accepting the challenge of Seth Rollins. Rollins and Murphy set for a tag team bout with RVD and a partner that he seemingly already has in hand coming up at Judgment Day. And we're going to find out that tag team partner of Rob Van Dam this coming Monday night on Raw. But right now, we are set for women's division action on main event. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making her way to the ring from Tokyo, Japan, Io Shirai. Io Shirai back in action tonight, but ladies and gentlemen, we have breaking news regarding the WWE Women's Championship matchup at Judgment Day. A triple threat matchup has been signed. The Empress of Tomorrow, Asuka, will defend against the top two contenders in the women's division, Alexa Bliss and Liv Morgan. Both those women with winning streaks over the last couple of weeks. And it leads them to being the top two challengers. And we'll get the championship opportunity on the same night, September the 10th. Another triple threat match signed for Asuka. Now if there's any woman that can handle it, we know it's the Empress of Tomorrow. Asuka, Alexa Bliss, Liv Morgan. Triple threat matchup for the WWE Women's Championship. Coming up on Saturday night, September the 10th at Judgment Day in Denver. But Io Shirai's opponent tonight is a return to action for none other than Candice LeRae. It's been quite some time since we've seen Candice inside the squared circle over the last number of months, but she's back tonight, and it looks like she's reunited herself with her old NXT tag team partner. And accompanied by Indy Hartwell from Anaheim, California, Candice LeRae. 
Well, we mentioned this last week on main event when Indy Hartwell was an action against Shotzi. She came up short on that night, but we mentioned that Indy Hartwell now being a part of the main roster over the last month or so, could she realign herself with Candice LeRae when LeRae returned from her hiatus? And seemingly, from what we see here tonight, Indy Hartwell in the corner of Candice LeRae, that that is the case, and the way, at least for the women, is back together here tonight. That is a very interesting development, quite frankly, a very dangerous development for the rest of the women's division. But nonetheless, it's not a duos matchup tonight. It is a one-on-one -on -one Candice versus Io Shirai, two women with a lot of history with each other in NXT. So it's a do battle right here tonight on your Thursday night main event. What a matchup that is going to be coming up at Judgment Day. Asuka has been so dominant over the last month and change ever since winning the WWE Women's Championship at SummerSlam, almost two months now. Defeating Shotzi and Bianca Belair at the Extreme Rules pay-per-view in a triple threat matchup. She's also retained her championship over Casey Catanzaro as well. Now her next defense in this reign is going to be coming up on September the 10th at Judgment Day, when she meets Alexa Bliss and Liv Morgan. Both those women with winning streaks as of late for the last several weeks and months, and now they're both going to get the opportunity. Holy... Gotta cut myself off here. Candice LeRae coming out swinging tonight. Springboard, reverse Rana on Io Shirai. No rest for the weary. Candice LeRae off the top rope. And that may be enough to keep Io Shirai down, but Candice LeRae is keeping the fight going on the queen of the sky here tonight. And now Candice into the cover. I think off that reverse Rana, she may have just earned herself a victory, but Shirai is still in this matchup. Whew, man, that definitely caught us off guard there. Especially such early into this matchup. Candice LeRae coming out swinging. The big time high offense maneuvers. And the Wicked Witch, Candice LeRae, but Io Shirai still in this fight. You know how tough these two women are. Io Shirai, a former NXT Women's Champion as well as NXT Tag Team Champion. Candice LeRae, also a former NXT Women's Tag Team Champion. Both these women... Actually competed in the women's Money in the Bank matchup back in the month of May. This is the night that Asuka pulled down the briefcase, which then led her to cashing in and being the WWE Women's Champion right now. Here's Shirai miscalculating that moonsault, and it gives the advantage to Candice LeRae. Now Candice, look at this. has got EO all tied up here, and face plants are on the canvas. And that may be a knockout blow. We are just early on still in this contest, but Candice LeRae may have just gotten the victory for herself, but Io Shirai is still in the fight. What about the development that we noticed as Candice LeRae was making her way to the ring tonight, reignited with her NXT tag team partner, Indy Hartwell. Of course, Indy made her main roster debut a few months ago during Candice LeRae's injury hiatus over the last few months. But now that Candice is back, it seems the way is back together for the women. There's going to be a dangerous alliance in the women's division. Everybody's got to take notice, and Io Shirai takes it to the sky like nobody else does. And that may do it for this women's division matchup here tonight, but Candice LeRae getting the shoulder up. Io Shirai looking to take the fight here. And these two women, a lot of history with each other in NXT. It fought... NXT TakeOver Toronto back in 2019. They squared off in war games as well. They're right in the next chapter here tonight at Io Shirai. Oh, wait a minute here. Off the top rope of Candice LeRae. Now Indy Hartwell's got the attention of Shirai, and that just gains the momentum for Candice LeRae. And that's the dangerous alliance that we're alluding to, is that if these two women are watching each other's back, it's going to spell disaster for the rest of the women's division. Candice LeRae miscalculating that moonsault there, similar to Io Shirai did earlier. Now Shirai is back in the driver's seat. It's very interesting. Candice and Io back together. Oh, excuse me. Candice and Indy Hartwell back together here tonight. And recently on Monday Night Raw, we've seen the new duo of Bailey and Dakota Kai igniting themselves together. So a couple of pairings joining up in the women's division as of late. Very interesting times and developments in the WWE Women's Division and only time will tell how things will continue to improve and get more exciting. It's Candace and Indy Hartwell tearing down the house here tonight in DC. The fight is on the outside right now and Candace LeRae has taken full advantage of her surroundings. 
And Kane is whipping Shirai off. And Kane is going to be headed in. She could be looking for a count at victory here. Wait a minute. India Hartwell's grabbing a hold of Shirai. And she lays a hand, a physical hand on her. That's going to lead to a disqualification. But Candice LeRae's back out there, not on the outside. A reverse run on the outside of the damn ring. And some things are taking it too far. And Io Shirai may be knocked out cold. And if she's not, she's got to have her screws loose at this point. Ain't no way she knows where she is right now. And somehow she lands that knee just trying to survive Candice LeRae right now and get this match back inside the squared circle. Where she can at least try to control things against Candice LeRae. Now Io Shirai's got Candice into the corner. Look at this. Double boots right now. And the high-flying agility by Io there. And Candice LeRae may be in trouble. Goes for the kick. Candice counters the... Queen of the Sky there. Taking her off her feet. Wait a minute. Tie Ania Shirai up again. And she hit this move earlier and it was a close call. Face planting Io Shirai into the canvas for the second time in this contest. Io's taking a lot of damage. I don't know if she's going to be able to scrape that shoulder off the canvas. And she cannot. Candice LeRae picking up the victory here tonight. I don't want to say Indy Hartwell played a huge factor, but she definitely took Io Shirai's off the ball at one point. I off the ball, excuse me. And that led to that onslaught on the outside by Candice LeRae, beating the hell out of Shirai, and then the face plant for the second time in the matchup leads Candice LeRae in a return bout, getting the victory over Shirai here this evening. Very interesting development as the way is back together. Here is your winner, Candice LeRae. The victory tonight is one thing, but the most interesting situation is Candice and Io back together, and it may spell disaster for the rest of the women's division here in the WWE. Well, coming up on the final Raw before the Judgment Day pay-per-view this coming Monday night, it's a tag team main event between some of the Judgment Day opponents. It's going to be all day Austin Theory, the WWE Champion, teaming up with the Viper Randy Orton to take on Mustafa Ali and the Rated R Superstar Edge. The road to Judgment Day rolls through Raw this Monday. And coming up on September the 10th, Saturday night at 5 p.m. Eastern Time, it's a live premiere event. And it is our next Universe Mode pay-per-view, WWE Judgment Day. Already signed for the Judgment Day pay-per-view, the Cruiserweight Championship will be on the line. Alpha Academy's Chad Gable been raking up some wins over the last number of weeks and has earned himself the number one contendership to go one-on-one -on -one with Ricochet for the Cruiserweight Championship of the World. We found out moments ago the WWE Women's Championship will be on the line in a triple threat matchup. Asuka defends the gold against her two top challengers, Alexa Bliss and Liv Morgan. Who is going to walk away from Denver, the women's champion? It is a rematch from Monday Night Raw a few weeks ago. Damian Priest and Dominic Dijakovic this past Monday night earned the number one contendership by defeating the Viking Raiders in the Hurt Business. Now they meet Dominic and Rey Mysterio yet again. Will they walk away with the World Tag Team Championships of the WWE? The situation has escalated one time after another, and now now the two men will meet the Bruiserweight, the Blackheart, Pete Dunne versus Tommaso Ciampa, and the Intercontinental Championship is going to be on the line. What is going to be the condition of Pete Dunne heading into Judgment Day? The WWE Championship Eliminator has been exciting to watch over the last number of weeks, but it all comes to a halt in the number one contenders matchup for the WWE Championship at Judgment Day when Mustafa Ali goes one-on-one -on -one with the Apex Predator, Randy Orton. And of course, in the main event of the pay-per-view, the WWE Championship itself will be on the line. The Rated R Superstar is coming back for the gold that he lost at Extreme Rules. Will he be a 13-time world champion, or will he still be living in the day of the all-day Austin Theory era? Theory and Edge one-on-one -on -one in the main event of Judgment Day. More matches still to be signed for Saturday night, September the 10th on pay-per-view. But it is time for your Thursday night main event. The original bro, Matt Riddle, back in action yet again. He wants to fight, and he's got a big task ahead of him here tonight in Washington, D.C. The following contest 
is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Las Vegas, Nevada. Weighing in at 216 pounds. Riddle. The last number of months have been rocky for Riddle. Of course, the implosion of RK Bro gave Riddle two months on the shelf. Things came to a hold at Extreme Rules where Riddle went one-on-one -on -one with his former tag team partner Randy Orton and Falls Can Anywhere, unfortunately coming up short on that night. Riddle was back in action this past Monday Night on Raw when he went one-on-one -on -one with Austin Theory. He came up short again, but Riddle, after missing those two months of his career, no rest for himself here tonight. He wants to get back, back in action, excuse me. He made an open challenge to the locker room, and that challenge was accepted by this big man, the Colossal Omos. And it looks like he's got Bobby Lashley in his corner. And his opponent, accompanied by Bobby Lashley from Lagos, Nigeria, weighing in at 400 pounds, Omos. Well, it was a few weeks ago on Raw where this pairing between Omos and Bobby Lashley seemingly came together. The Colossal One was going one-on-one -on -one with the phenomenal AJ Styles when AJ Styles' eye was taken off the ball by the distraction from the almighty Bobby Lashley. At first, we thought the music of Lashley was just playing, but Bobby Lashley reared his head inside the ring while the referee's back was turned. And look at this, laying out the phenomenal AJ Styles. And on that night, Bobby Lashley seemingly handing the victory to the colossal Omos, as you see Omos crawling into the cover and getting the victory over AJ Styles. And remember this past Monday night on Raw, cameras cut backstage where we seemingly saw Bobby Lashley and Omos meeting up in the locker room, a handshake between the two men. And the word we can gather from the locker room backstage is that Omos has officially joined the Hurt Business. As if they weren't already a dominant duo, or excuse me, dominant faction, now with the addition of Omos, who the hell is going to stop Bobby Lashley in the Hurt Business? Only time will tell, and I'm sure AJ Styles still has a bone to pick with both Omos and Bobby Lashley, but regardless of that, Omos has got Riddle here tonight. And Riddle already has got his hands full against the Colossal Omos, but again, this is Riddle with the open challenge here tonight, and it was accepted by Omos. Riddle wanted to get back in action. He sat and wasted two months of his career on the shelf thanks to injuries suffered by Randy Orton. And he's come up short in his last two matches here in the WWE and he's looking to bounce back any means necessary tonight. It's not usual that we see somebody compete inside the ring within the same week. Very rare to even see that in the week of a pay-per-view around these parts in WWE. You're risking injury getting in the ring so frequently, but Riddle wants to do it tonight. Feels he's ready to go. He is fired up after that loss against Austin Theory on Monday night, and I don't think anybody could have talked Riddle out of not stepping foot inside that ring tonight. And we talked about it on Raw, but remember how physical the Falls Can Anywhere matchup between Riddle and Randy Orton was at Extreme Rules. And of course, how it ended, Randy Orton using the sledgehammer on the original bro, followed by the RKO, of course. That gained Randy Orton the victory on that night, but we talked about it. Wait a minute, Lashley getting in the ring to throw Riddle's eye off the ball. Come on. Now, wait a minute, Riddle, look at this. Has got Omos all rolled up here. Is he going to steal the victory? No. Riddle almost had Omos right there. But as we were mentioning, and we talked about it this past Monday night, you got to wonder the condition of Riddle. Is he still feeling the effects of extreme rules, and is he 100%? after his matchup with Austin Theory this past Monday Night on Raw. Right now he's looking good, but only time will tell if he's able to get the victory over Amos here tonight. And right now, Riddle's looking good over the Colossal One. Amos, obviously the bigger of the two competitors. has been very dominant since making his WWE debut. His only singles loss comes to the franchise John Cena about a month ago here on Thursday night. Main event when those two men went one-on-one, -on -one, but Amos has been more often than not in the winning ways. Look at this, Riddle, oh-ho! Little sneaky tactic there from the original bro. I guess that he means necessary to get the victory, but I think that might have just pissed off the colossal beast here tonight as he's bench pressing Riddle above his head, and Riddle takes a fall down below. Moss into the cover, not watching his rope break there, but of course there you see the almighty Bobby Lashley. Seemingly, again, aligning himself with Omos over the last number of weeks, and Omos joining the ranks of the Hurt Business. 
And you gotta wonder what Bobby Lashley's motive was to take AJ Styles' eye off the ball a couple of weeks ago on Raw. Of course, those two men do have history, dating back to April the 11th of this year, when AJ Styles took the WWE Championship off of Bobby Lashley at the Backlash pay-per-view. Lashley, of course, has been back in the WWE Championship picture since, so quite possibly Bobby Lashley could be, all these months later, finally looking to seek retribution on AJ Styles. That's at least what we can gather from the whole situation, but only time will tell, and hopefully we can hear from the almighty Bobby Lashley on what the motive was eventually. But regardless, he's got Omos in the ranks of the Hurt Business now, and Omos has got Riddle on the top rope, and what the hell is the big man looking for in the original bro? Oh my goodness, a super plex from the top rope. A colossal plex, if you will. And that's got to do it. I know it's just a super plex, but when it's getting delivered by the man, like Omos, how the hell do you stay in it? But Riddle's got heart, and he stays in the fight, at least for a few more moments. Riddle's taking a beating in this match, man. He's hanging in there, but Omos is definitely having his way with the original bro here tonight. There's Riddle trying to hang in. Oh, Omos just a slap to the face, disrespecting Riddle here. And back and forth we go. Both men try to gain the momentum in this contest, and Riddle just takes a small, or excuse me, a big fall to the outside. Now yeah, the brawl, this is not good for Riddle. Especially against an opponent like Omos. You do not want this thing to turn into a brawl here at ringside. I think Riddle knows that. Able to send Omos back to the ring at least momentarily here. And Riddle circling his way. I think Omos, wait a minute, going back out to the outside in the corner of the Hurt Business and Bobby Lashley. And Riddle going to follow him here. And I don't think that's the smart idea because Omos throwing Riddle right to the timekeeper's area. And Riddle's trying to fight back, but Omos... Look at this, just grab it a hold. Military press, no, Riddle counters with the DDT on the outside of the ring. What a comeback maneuver from the bro here tonight. And I'll able to toss Omos, almost right in front of the steel steps. Omos catching himself before he crashed and burned into the steel, making his way back into the ring. But Riddle's right there, grab it a hold, but there's Omos. And what a physical main event this has been here on your Thursday edition of WWE 2K22 Universe Mode, episode 49. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel down below. And remember, Saturday night, September the 10th, 5 p.m. Eastern Time, a live premiere for our next Universe Mode pay-per-view Judgment Day. Moss diving off the middle rope with that shoulder block. Riddle goes down. Now Omos heading back out to the outside. And what is this man looking for? Wait a minute, Omos clearing off the announce table. What the hell does Omos have in mind? Well, Riddle trying to make sure that whatever the hell Omos had in mind ain't gonna happen. Riddle bringing the fight to Omos. Oh, wait a minute, look at that! What a knee! And if there's one man to keep the big, one way, excuse me, to keep the big man down, it's by bare kneeing him in the face and trying to get the knockout blow. But Omos, it is hard to keep the pressure on this man. Already back up from what would knock out any normal human being. Omos now grabbing a hold of Riddle. These two men continuing the fight on the outside. Referee's at a count of eight right now. And Riddle could be about to be counted out if... Omos is, or excuse me, if himself's not careful, Omos heading back to the outside. Lashley's getting in the face of Riddle here. Absolutely just a chaotic situation at ringside. Oh, and now Omos throwing Riddle right into the damn barricade. Omos has got something in mind. He keeps taking the ball to the outside. The colossal one. Clearly switching his strategy, or at least this is part of the strategy in this contest that he came into this match with. And that's Fight Riddle on the outskirts of the ring. And Riddle's trying to hang in there. He's doing everything he can to take Omos off his feet, but the issue is keeping Omos down and out. It's one thing to get him off his feet. It's another thing to keep him there. The brawl once again continuing. Riddle hitting the... Excuse me, announce table there. Referees at a count of eight. We could see a, a count out right here. 
Omos grabbing a hold. Referee's at a count of nine. Riddle's back in. Omos going after him. Wait, Riddle's back to the outside. Both men got the count broken, but Riddle... Oh, wait a minute here. Look at this. Hit another knee on Omos. It's as if these two men are just trying to avoid the count out. Just at this point, leading to a fist fight on the outside of the ring. It started with Omos coming to the outside, but I think Riddle is following suit in these last few moments. Riddle's back in, at least momentarily. Now he heads back out to the outside, and Omos going after him here. And Riddle, look at that ripcord knee. Another knee to the jaw of Omos. At some point, it's got to be a knockout blow to keep this heavy hitter off his feet. And he's still going. He's still awake. And he throws Riddle a hard shot into the barricade. Omos grabbing a hold. And, oh, wait a minute here. Riddle just got sent over the barricade onto the concrete and in the midst of the WWE Universe. Omos is following suit. The referee's at a count of six, at a count of seven now. These guys don't get back into the ring. We're going to see a count out here. Omos and Riddle are brawling among the ranks of the WWE Universe here tonight. Referee's at a count of eight. Omos swinging. Oh, Riddle with an overhand shot. Omos is dazed. Riddle's heading back in. Count of ten. Count of ten. Riddle wins the match by count out. Oh, oh, oh man, I don't think that's going to make the Colossal One, or the Almighty Bobby Lashley at ringside, very happy. Omos clearly had something in mind. He kept bringing the fight over and over again to the outside of the ring, and that time it cost him. Riddle dazed him just enough for Riddle to run back into the ring, break the... Oh, wait a minute here, wait a minute, come back. Omos, come on, the damn match is over, what the hell? The match is over, but Omos upset at the countout loss to Riddle here tonight. And the brawl has ensued yet again inside the squared circle. The bell has already rung. This is absolutely ridiculous. The referee's got to gain control over this man. Wait a minute. Omos is on the outside of the ring. He's got a damn table. Riddle's trying to stop him. Somebody's got to get control over this situation right now. Omos lost the match, fair and square. He cost himself bringing the fight to the outside. Riddle took advantage, won the match by countout, and now Omos is trying to do more damage on Riddle, bringing that damn table into the ring. Oh, come on now, not this military press yet again. Here tonight, and Riddle just falls down, and he might have caught the edge of the table too. And what the hell? Is the Colossal Omos doing? The referee's just standing there, but quite frankly, I can't blame him. What the hell is he going to do to stop Omos? Omos, this is dangerous right now. Somebody's got to get out here to help Riddle. Oh, no. Oh, no. Riddle. Riddle's in trouble. Come on. You got to be kidding me. Choke slam through the table by Omos. What the hell is this? It absolutely unauthorized assault right now and he's not done two-handed choke slam and riddles down and out omas may not like the results of the contest but what he and bobby lashley need to realize is that there may be hell to pay for the actions here tonight Face on when I chase like that, yeah, I play so strong with a knife in the back. I'm a swing home run like a baseball bat. Gonna see me rise if you hate on that. I don't play both sides, doing me no cap. I'm a